I'd like to give you an update on the phase out of the refrigerant R22. We've talked about in the past, R22 will no longer be produced by the major manufacturers in the year 2020. Everybody thinks, well, that's a long way off. Well, what's happened is, is the manufacturers of that refrigerant have not waited to the year 2020. They've started to cut it back now, and a lot of that mandated by the government itself. So the price of R22, as you know, has gone really high. Uh, it skyrocketed for a while and it's stabilized a little bit now. But what we've done in uh, <clears throat> the meantime is we've developed uh, the use of a new refrigerant that's a drop-in replacement. Drop-in meaning we take out the old R22 or if you've lost it in your charge and then we install new refrigerant and it's 422D which is a ozone friendly refrigerant. Uh, <clears throat> you don't have to change the oil in the compressor. You don't have to change anything. It is a drop-in. We just add it back to the system. Now when would you use this? Typically on commercial units five tons and above if you've got a single circuit you would use it like in a seven and a half ton package unit you've got a refrigerant leak you repair that leak you recharge the unit with 422D. Why would you do that? One it's good for the ozone but the main thing is it's cheaper. Typically uh, 422 is going to be ten fifteen dollars a pound cheaper at least and it could be more depending on how uh, uh, few of a pound of R22 is produced this year so <clears throat> 422D is out and about make sure they label your unit uh, in case another guy comes back behind you want to make sure they do not put R22 in an R422 unit uh, the performance is great we've been using it now for well over a year and have had no problems with it at all and if you've got a big unit that has uh, 50 pounds of refrigerant in it, you're going to save a lot of money on it. If you've got a smaller unit, you'll still save, maybe not quite as much, and it'll be good for the long haul.